project I'm working on, I need to make a groove here on top of this cylinder. Groove 22 millimeters wide, 22 millimeters deep. This is cast iron and I have, I think, a little problem to hold it in my shaper. I cleaned up this uh, surface uh, so no problem. It would be nice if it could sit on this vise nice and flush on this surface and then pushed against the fixed jaw. Then I need here a V-block just to be sure it's not going to move. But I think even with a V-block and for this cast iron it will not work. So I have to turn this vise 90 degrees so the forces will be pushed against the jaw and not against the opening. This vise I cannot turn 90 degrees and fix it. The table of this uh, shaper is too small to take the width of this vise. So I think all I can do for the moment is use this vise, put my part in here and then make a little V-block I will cut here a piece out, make a little V-block that goes behind here, maybe that could work. Cut out this little blank, just a little bit clean up, should be enough. Blooper. Making a simple part like this one, I even managed to screw up. <clears throat> I suppose you noticed that when I was working this uh, 45 degrees in this direction, the clapper was in the wrong direction. So I messed up a bit this uh, surface here. And then later on, when I fixed my problem, there was too much chatter. This whole part was bending down I suppose and I had too much chatter so I changed system and I put it 45 degrees like this in the vise and everything went well now this is my part inside here is some broken thing I hope it's a soft bolt or something first a little piece of belt sander belt sand built thing of course with the sand against the part and not against the vise put this one in that should do so I managed to get this broken bolt out see it moving come in win little change of plans I took out this uh, swivel uh, system because there was really too much chatter this whole vice was moving so now took it apart and I put it directly on the table locked down with my homemade clamps I also grind a new tool 
and we will see how it performs. This little machine really don't like these heavy cuts and the cutting speed is way too high but I cannot set it lower it's on minimum 60 strokes a minute Depth of cut a half a millimeter, 0 0.5 millimeter. Well, that was a real pain. This uh, little working scale model uh, shaper is not designed to take these heavy loads or these uh, cutting forces so I had a serious chatter problems I flooded it in uh, cutting oil it was a little bit better and I did now my finishing pass and let's see what we have over to the workbench and let's have a look when we look at the bottom finish I hope it shows it a bit on camera there's these lines you cannot feel them but you can see them there's a little bit chatter marks left and then this side is perfect finish I will turn a bit in, in the light hope you can see it a bit and the other side there's also a line and this is where I stopped cutting to move the camera so moving cameras is not good for your parts now the cutting tool I used to make this maybe you're interested this one let's take a piece of chalk something like this tool is cutting out of the blackboard into the camera let's make it a side view if it's possible this is of course this line this is the part we're cutting this angle officially should be 4 degrees this free angle with one or two degrees to have enough and then I cut out this part so you have way less cutting forces of course if you do this you do this with the angle grinder of course make sure that you have this four degree relief angle here because this round or this uh, square you make is of course also cutting sides very important because this part was cast iron there is no rake angle the tool is moving that way to cut the ship is formed here no rake angle for cast iron make the same tool for steel for soft steel this will be the rake angle make it about between 7 and 10 degrees now what this part is for I cannot tell you because 
it's an upcoming project I'm gonna show you but maybe I can give you a little hint maybe this week I also received some stickers two stickers from Greg Tate Greg thanks you very much I think this is a positive thinking sticker a big smile in hard times that's what we need I also received a sticker from Emma Sparrow shop machine shop Emma the Sorry Emma, Emma Sparrow Machine Shop. This sticker and the Greg sticker will go on the cheap door. And Emma sent me also this project notebook. Now the fun trick is there are no projects in this book. It's empty, which means we can choose ourselves what project we work on. Greg. Your sticker is on the cheap door, and Emma, I did put you next to Stephen. Uh, be kind to each other. Now, these days, lots of people have lots of time to do things, to make things, to make uh, videos, and I don't. Because we, we continue to work. We are standing there, like heroes. And we are standing there like a lighthouse in a stormy night. And we will fight this virus with primitive weapons. Uh, it's a uh, window cleaner. Now, what I wanted to point out is uh, some people continue to work. And I don't think we are heroes. I don't believe it. But just if you see someone in the transport world, this truck driver, post office, people who work in hospital and all the other food distribution things. See someone, give him or her a big thumbs up. They deserve it. These people are ready for us, for us all, to help us out. 